ladies! So today's video is going to be a quick review on the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. This is Healthy Luminous, luminous uh, Makeup. It has broad spectrum SPF 20 in it and I got the Cool Tone C3 Cool Creamy Natural. So I um, never have used this foundation before. I actually was kind of in the market for another foundation. Just because my skin is so dry and especially during winter time, I'm looking for a foundation that kind of is more for dry skin. And when I was going through some of Jaclyn Hill's old videos, um, she talks about this foundation, how much she loves it, and how dry her skin was and everything like that. So I decided to go out to Ulta, went ahead and picked it up, and tried it. I tried it two days ago and wore it all day and it actually was really, really nice um, on my skin. It never really sank in like I always felt it on my skin. I almost felt, and it's something that I have to get used to, it's something that I want in one sense but something I have to get used to. When I had oily skin that when you felt your face and it felt oily, it was just like, oh my gosh, that's so disgusting because my face was always oily and I was constantly blotting it. Now that it's dry, I like to have that feeling where I feel my face and I actually feel something on my face because I'm so used to my skin being so tight. But at the same time, it's something I have to get used to because for so many years, that feeling was a bad feeling. So I'm kind of like trying to, you know, change my way of thinking. So it did feel good on my skin as far as the dryness and stuff like that. If you do have oily skin, you're not going to like this feeling because it will make you feel like you have like oil on your skin. Um, so definitely would not recommend this if you are oily. But as far as dry, you know, it's a really, really good feeling. It held up all day. I thought it blended well. I thought it made my face look really, really nice. And for a drugstore foundation, I think it was really, really good. Here's the problem I have and the reason why I say beware. I would only try this foundation out if you are not going anywhere for the next couple days. If you have a photo shoot coming up, if you're doing family photos, if Christmas, if you have a party, something like that, I would definitely not do this foundation or try this foundation before. And here's why. I literally had some kind of reaction to it. Um, if you continue watching, I show without makeup. I wanted to explain with makeup because I hate looking at myself without makeup. But I literally, all right here is just these little red bumps. I have red bumps down here. I have bumps all the way down here. And the only thing that I have changed in my makeup routine is this foundation. The only thing that I have tried new is this foundation. I'm always very, very careful about only trying one thing at a time so that I know whether or not it works with my skin and not trying 10,000 things at a time and it's like, well, what caused me to break out? I did break out right here and right here. Um, and it's gone now. Um, when I do the first aid beauty, but those both have broke. This is like serious, like allergic reaction. Like my skin was like, what the heck did you just put on me? Um, so I definitely, I don't know what in the world is in this product. The only thing I could think of, and I never thought about um, checking it before, and I can't even get it because, oh wait, maybe I can. It's like they put this, oh, open here thing, and I can't get into it because it's, like literally broken, like not broken, but it's, here it is. Oh, come on, my goodness. No, it doesn't say it contains silicone. Wait a minute, inactive ingredients. No, I don't see any silicone in it. Because I do break out with silicone and I completely forgot to look at it before I purchased it but it doesn't look like it has any silicone in it. So it's definitely not the silicone that it's making me break out because it doesn't appear to have it in it. And I do wear SPF, so it, I don't think it's the um, sunscreen that's in it. I honestly have no idea what it is, but something in my skin does not like it, and that's why I just wanna put this warning out. If you, I think it's a great foundation. I think it may, it's, makes your skin look pretty. I think if you are super dry or combination, I think that you will really, really like this foundation. It is drugstore. I think it's $12.99. And Ulta, um, when I went to go purchase it, was having a buy one, get one half off. So you can get another um, product for half the price. So it definitely is, everything about it is great, except I would just caution you to try it on the weekend or try it when a um, couple days, you know, when you're not doing anything or having a family photo shoot or anything 
where you don't want to have be completely broken out because it is not fun. So anyways, um, let me know if you've had the same reaction this foundation, if you tried it before, had the same reaction, or if you've tried it before and everything's fine. Jaclyn Hill recommends it, so that's why I did it, not saying that she had anything to do or if it's a bad recommendation or anything, but I just want to let you know that this happened to me, so just be cautious if you do decide to try it, try it when you're not doing something important just in case you have a reaction just like me. So uh, leave comments below if you tried it or have had the same thing. Until next time, bye.